Welcome to the amazing world of phylum Periphera. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about the simple and unique organisms that belong to this phylum. These creatures are called sponges, and they are one of the simplest forms of life made up of many cells, but don't let that fool you. They play a very important role in the ocean. Let's find out more about them. Phylum Periphera, which we also call sponges, are a group of simple animals made up of many cells. The word periphera means pore bearers because they have many small holes called ostia on their bodies. Let's see the main things that make this group so interesting. You can find sponges mostly in the ocean, but some also live in fresh water. Their bodies are asymmetrical, which means you can't divide them into two identical halves like many other animals. Inside a sponge, there's a special network of canals. Water goes into these canals through tiny pores called ostia and comes out through bigger openings called oscula. This system helps them catch food and breathe by filtering the water, which makes them really good filter feeders. Sponges have a very basic structure of cells. They don't have real tissues or organs like other animals. That's why we call them cell aggregates. Sponges have special cells called pinacocytes for protection, choanocytes to move water through their bodies and amoebocytes to digest food and carry nutrients. The skeleton of sponges is made of spicules or spongin fibers. Spicules are like tiny needles made of silica or calcium carbonate. They give the sponge its shape and support. Spongin fibers are soft and bendy. They are made of proteins and make the sponge stretchy. Sponges can reproduce in two ways, asexually and sexually. They reproduce asexually through budding or fragmentation, where a part of the sponge breaks off and grows into a new sponge. In sexual reproduction, sponges release sperm into the water, and other sponges can take it in to fertilize their eggs. The most special thing about sponges is their canal system, which is how they eat and breathe. There are three types of canal systems in sponges, ascanoid, sicanoid, and leuconoid. In ascanoid sponges, water goes directly into the spongocole, the main body cavity, and then out through the osculum. This is the simplest type and you only see it in small sponges shaped like tubes. In the sicanoid canal system, water travels through radial canals before it gets to the spongocole. This design gives them more surface area to filter food. The leuconoid system is the most complex one. It has flagellated chambers. This design makes water filtration super efficient. That's why leuconoid sponges are the most common type of sponge. You can find them everywhere. Section 3, Classification of Phylum Periphera. We divide Phylum Periphera into three main classes based on what their skeletons are made of and the type of spicules they have. First, we have Class Calcarea. Class Calcarea includes sponges with spicules made of calcium carbonate. These sponges are usually small and tube-shaped and you find them in shallow ocean water. Next, we have Class Hexactinellida. Hexactinellida, also called glass sponges, have spicules made of silica, which makes them look like glass. They live in the deep sea. And lastly, we have class Demospongiae. Demospongiae is the biggest class. It includes sponges that live in both the ocean and fresh water. Their skeletons are made of spongin fibers or silica. Most of the sponges you see in the ocean belong to this class. Section four, ecological importance of sponges. Sponges are really important for keeping the ocean healthy. They filter a lot of water, which makes the water clearer and helps recycle nutrients. Their bodies provide homes for small sea creatures, which increases biodiversity. Plus, sponges live with other organisms in a way that benefits both of them. This helps with nutrient cycling and keeps the ocean ecosystem stable. Conclusion. Phylum periphera might be simple, but it's super important for life in the ocean. These simple but cool creatures help us understand how life made of many cells evolved and they continue to shape the ecosystems they live in. By learning about sponges, we can appreciate how everything in the ocean is connected and how important biodiversity is. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of phylum periphera. Remember, what you learn today is really important for your biology studies. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more educational videos like this. See you next time.